ating virtual Sunday school. So, bago tayo mag-start, tayo muna ay manalangin. Paano nga ulit mag-pray? Tama. Kamay nakatiklop, uloy na kayo po, matay nakapikit. Sabayan niyo yung panalangin ni teacher. Lord, maraming salamat po sa panaybagong araw na binigyan niyo po sa amin. Lord, gabayan niyo po kami sa aming Sunday School ngayong araw. Sana po, marami kaming matutunan at mas makilala ka po namin. Mahal na mahal po namin kayo. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yan, ngayon natapos na tayo manalangin. Tayo muna ay kakanta at sasayaw. O, oh, ready na ba kayo? Tara, samahan niyo si teacher. Nag-enjoy ba kayo sa ating song and dance? Ngayon naman, tanda ko tayo sa review of memory verse at lesson natin last week. Para sa ating memory verse, galing ito sa Micah 5 verse 2. Out of you will come for me, one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from old, from ancient times. Para naman sa review of lesson, last week nag-start tayo ng panibago nating topic at sinimulan natin ang mga lesson about sa mga espesyal na lugar sa New Testament. Isa na dito ang Bethlehem at Nazareth. Naging espesyal ito dahil gumawa si Lord ng paraan para maging espesyal ang lugar na ito. O, oh, ngayon! Na alam niyo na at natandaan niyo na ang lesson natin at memory verse last week. Pupunta na tayo sa panibagong lesson. 
Tara at panoorin ang sunod na video at hintayin na tumawag ang inyong teacher para sa inyong discussion. See you next week! It was the happiest of events. The young couple was finally married, and the bride and groom, along with family and friends, excitedly made their way to the great marriage feast. The celebration was well underway. Among the guests were Jesus, his mother Mary, and a few of Jesus' disciples. It was such a happy and festive occasion that not one guest, not even the bride and groom, suspected that anything could go wrong. But things were about to go bad. The main beverage served in those days was wine, and the wine had abruptly run out. If something wasn't done soon, it would mean a quick and embarrassing end to the celebration. Mary felt bad for the bride and groom and their family, so she called on Jesus with the hope that he could do something to help. The wine has run out, she told him. There was no doubt Jesus was capable of saving the entire event, but Jesus needed for Mary to understand that he was subject to God's authority, not hers, and that all things would be done according to his will and timing. He respectfully replied, Woman, what does that have to do with you and me? My hour has not yet come. With characteristic humility, Mary accepted his words and said to the servants, Whatever he tells you to do, do it. There were six large stone water jars nearby that were mostly empty. Earlier, they were used to hold water for the guests to clean themselves up. Jesus pointed to the jars and instructed the servants, Fill the jars up with water. So they filled the jars up to the very top. Then Jesus said, Now draw some out and take it to the person in charge of the party. No doubt the servants were a little hesitant to serve the boss dirty water, but they obeyed Jesus' command as Mary had instructed, and they brought to the master a cup anyway. The master of the wedding took a sip, smacked his lips, and to the surprise of the servants exclaimed, This is indeed a very fine vintage. Jesus had turned the ordinary water into the finest of wine. The master of the party went on, I am surprised that you chose to wait to serve the best for last, when it is normal to serve the best wine at the beginning of the event. The guests all agreed that it was the finest wine they had ever had, and the party continued joyously. Very few people saw what really happened. Only the servants, the disciples, and Mary observed the actual miracle. And because of this great wonder, the disciples came to know Jesus as more than just their master, but also as the long-awaited Savior of the world.